Hey guys, welcome to LZ's Project. My name is Salman Francis and today is part three of our CCIE training track. And in today's video, we are going to see how to install Linux inside EVNG. So for that purpose, I have already created a slide and let me uh, take you through this slide uh, step by step. So in first step, we would need a Linux image. Then we need to create a directory under uh, opt unit lab adds on and chemo and then we need to uh, copy that uh, linux image we already downloaded into this directory over here the, the important thing is that the directory which we are going to create under chemo should start with linux others otherwise it's not going to show up in the nodes so in my case i have already downloaded sendos image and i'm going to copy it under sendos 7 directory so let's say uh, it's the name of the directory is linux sendos 7 so i'm going to copy sendos 7 image into that directory then we will go into that directory rename the directory to cd-rom.iso and move that sendos 7 image to like cd-rom.iso so it's mv means to rename it and then we will create a hard drive for this image uh, with this command uh, then fix the permission with UNL wrappers command and then we will create the node in our web portal so let's start okay so the first thing is we need the image so over there you, over here you can see I already have this image available Okay, now we need to copy this image to opt uh, add-ons, sorry, unit lab, add-ons, chemo. Okay, and over here, I don't have any directory. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, let's copy it. Okay, and I'm going to create a directory. Sendos 7. And then move this sendos to this directory. Perfect. Okay, now this part is done. Like we have already copied. And now we are going to second slide where we need to cd into this directory. Okay, done. And now we need to rename it to move this to cdrom.iso. Okay, now we have this cdrom-iso. Uh, and we can see it's 681 megabytes. Okay, now we need to create the image. Okay, to do that, we would need slash opt chemo slash bin chemo image create and type is qcow2 and hard drive which I want is around 30 gigs okay so let's start the process and it's already done now we need to fix the permission unit lab wrappers dash fix permissions and if all goes well yep everything is good now what we are going to do is we need to go to our web Okay, guys, so we are, we are here at the web portal. I'm going to log in. If you remember, we created this uh, switch uh, last in our, in our last video. So now I'm going to add a Linux machine here. For do, to do that, I'm going to add a node. From here, I need to select Linux. Here you can see that. And perfect, Linux CentOS 7 is there. It's a server. 2 GB is enough, 1 Ethernet card is enough, and okay, 
right click it or select it like uh, select it and click start and you can see that Linux has started but it's okay now it's showing the play button also so everything is good now I'm going to click it and it's telling me to open XD open okay here we have it okay now I'm going to install this Linux this is a since it's a new install it will ask me a couple of questions and after some time it will be finished okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I will return once this installation is finished okay guys if you remember I told you that uh, while creating that um, hard drive you can see over here that here's the ADA Kimu hard drive so we need to select this uh, for our partition or for our installation so it's already selected click next okay if you want to uh, okay everything is good yeah host name we can check or like change our host name so we can call it uh, Linux server one dot example dot com complete FQDN okay I need to I can configure the network by the way over here and I can use automatic uh, IP wars for setting it's automatic or manual I can give it a manual address six eight one okay and begin the installation Okay, now I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once the installation is done. Alright guys, I'm back and our installation is complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and shut down our Linux machine. And then I am going to rename this cdrom.iso as if let's go back to our slides okay here we can see that uh, we have already created the image okay when asked for installation destination we have already selected and after installation move CD-ROM to some other directory and start the next machine so what we need to do is we need to uh, rename this CD-ROM.ISO back to our sendOS uh, seven dash minimum dot uh, ISO okay and move it out back to our home directory okay all we are left with this HDA Q cow two only okay now we are going to restart the server Okay, the server has started and fingers crossed if all goes well we will have our working CentOS server perfect and root and I'm in and the IP address is let's say if up eight zero and IP address is one nine two one six eight one dot thirty. Let's see if we can ping our gateway. Okay, 
no we can't because we are not connected to outside world so that we will do in our later video so you can see now we have our working Linux server we have our working switch um, the same way we added image uh, switch image we will add the router image also in our uh, coming up videos and then we will create our very first lab and then we will start our CCI training so thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you soon in our next video goodbye